It's been said that you play baseball, play football, or play basketball. You don't play fighting. To put yourself on the line against an opponent trained to defeat you is not something for the weak-minded. Because while mastering all combat sports disciplines is necessary to compete, to succeed, a fighter must have the heart and determination to walk through fire in search of victory. Tonight, the journey begins. Far from the bright lights of Las Vegas or New York City, but as the saying goes, when the octagon door shuts, a fight's a fight.
Chelsea president Dana White. And we're always looking for up and coming talent to sign. Back in the day, I used to scout the world looking for new talent. But I haven't done that in years. I'm looking for the next Ronda Rousey, the next Robbie Lawler, the next Conor McGregor. I'm looking for future champions. And I'm willing to go to any show, anywhere in the world to find them. Super excited about the talent on tonight's card. A lot of tough fighters. Let's see who really wants their shot at the UFC. An impressive win against the tough opponent. I'm in. We're going to give him a shot in the UFC. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Levy and this is your UFC Minute. The UFC returns this weekend with a fresh face who is destined to make headlines. When UFC President Dana White went looking for a fight, he was hoping that he would end up with a future UFC star. And those are the expectations after he signed a regional champion who has dominated the local welterweight circuit en route to his Octagon debut this weekend. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he won his fight on Dana White looking for a fight and did so with style points, so here he is making his UFC debut. Now the paycheck gets bigger 
and the audience gets bigger? Will there be an adrenaline dump? Will he experience some UFC jitters? You have to ask the question, Joe Rogan. We've seen a lot of UFC newcomers succumb to the nerves, fall victim to the bright lights of the famed UFC octagon. We'll see if it's a factor for this young man tonight. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do is utilize his footwork, his takedown defense, and land hard strikes to get the victory. Oh, is it great to see this guy make the walk here tonight. Really as accomplished a striker as we've seen come into the UFC in years. And no surprise, he'll be interested in keeping the fight standing tonight. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic. If the takedown defense holds up, figures to have a pronounced advantage on the feet. This guy is an excellent striker. What he wants to do here is avoid grappling exchanges, utilize his outstanding striking skills, and keep this fight from becoming a ground fight. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age with... Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. All right, so here we go with round one. After winning his fight on Dana White looking for a fight, he has arrived at the UFC debut. And when you have this type of hype and this type of pressure, sometimes fighters succumb to it. But when you talk to this young man, you don't get the sense that he will. Supremely confident and really feels like this UFC debut could... Oh! He's in big, big trouble here. Oh, straight right. Oh! Come on, big punches here. One underhook here. And they disengage from the clinch. This is crazy! Oh my goodness! Woo! Woo! Look at that jab. Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's gonna have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be vulnerable to that strike coming back. Gotta get his head off the center line. Oh, tagged him. And he lands a very nice combination. Under three minutes remaining. Oh! 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 oh, he hurt. Oh, he might be out. Oh! He's out. Oh! need to get out of here. What a fight. Can you believe it? it? Big straight punch for the KO. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's take a look at that again. And here we see it again. Oh, man. K.O. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 15 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by... All right, so the celebration is on, and rightfully so, as he makes good on the UFC debut here tonight. Likely plenty more where that came from, but tonight, the celebration is on.
And coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, this is an outstanding kickboxer making his way to the UFC octagon right now. Very interesting stylistic matchup here tonight. Just an outstanding arsenal of kicks. Great punching technique. Power in both hands. Works the lead leg. Not afraid to work the body. Just a complete kickboxer here. Now plying his trade in mixed martial arts. A dangerous proposition for anyone caught in his striking range. This guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is use his defense to keep the fight standing, use the takedown defense and a good solid sprawl, and if he does go to the ground, make sure he gets back up and punishes his opponent. Well, the crowd pops as this guy makes the walk to the octagon, and you can see why if you've watched film on him. This is a true mixed martial artist, plus skills in all areas, and figures to be a handful, really, for anybody in this division. Probably comfortable tonight anywhere the fight goes. Truly a well-rounded MMA fighter. You know, we, we, we trot that term out there a lot. This guy fits the bill. This guy is extremely well-rounded. His submissions are world-class. His striking is excellent. And he is extremely unpredictable in what attack he chooses to go with. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. We are underway. So he won his UFC debut by knockout. So you got to think the combo. Oh, oh, he's hurt! He's hurt! Nasty combinations here. knockout here early in the first. Yeah, Joe, that was the perfect shot right there. We didn't even get a feeling out process here tonight, and we say it all the time. Sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly had a huge impact here tonight as he gets the win by first round KO. And here's the end of the fight. Let's take a look at that again. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Boom. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At 40 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by knockout. Let's so there's go. the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night. I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will.